today i think we are going to talk about uh, abstract keyword and uh, what is uh, abstract keyword then we are going to talk about uh, abstract methods and then abstract class so we are going to talk about uh, this topics in today's session so first one when you talk about abstract keyword what is an abstract keyword obviously it is a modifier applicable with the methods and classes this is a simple idea about abstract keyword so it is a modifier applicable with the methods and classes that is what we call abstract keyword then maybe you can ask me a question before going to talk about what is abstract method or abstract class from your side maybe you have a small question here what is a modifier so you know generally in java modifier is a keyword which can be applicable with the variables methods classes interfaces enum all this but the point is a uh, every modifier will have some selected uh, entities to represent suppose abstract keyword when you talk about this abstract keyword is applicable only with methods and classes suppose you take access modifiers they are applicable with the methods classes and interfaces also variables it depends actually uh, every modifier has some some kind of uh, variation from one modifier to another modifier i think this is clear for all of you now so that is basic idea about the modifier and uh, abstract is a, a modifier which can be declared with a, a variable or a method I, uh, i'm sorry uh, abstract is a modifier which is declared with the methods and classes and generally modifier means which modifies the meaning of existing uh, statement or a declaration suppose before declaring modifier the meaning of method is something after declaring uh, abstract the meaning of uh, method is something so modifier modifies the meaning of either variable or method or class or interface or enum that is what generally we can say what a modifier is i think this is clear right so now coming to the method now we'll talk about uh, what is an abstract method but before that i think this is clear right abstract is a keyword applicable with variables and methods i'm sorry applicable with methods and classes that is the first thing we have to talk here second thing is uh, when you talk about modifier modifier changes the meaning of uh, either a variable or a method or a class or interface or even you know, with when declared with uh, these things that is simple idea about the modifier now we are going to talk about the abstract method what is an abstract method so if you observe this abstract method this topic uh, what is abstract method let's talk about this generally we know a method general method how do we declare method we declare like this what is that access uh, modifier space return type space method name parenthesis and uh, body this is syntax of a method maybe i can take a small example for this i'll say something like void m1 now this is a method generally we can call this as concrete method <coughs> excuse me this is called as concrete method then the question is what is a concrete method a method with body you have seen this an implementation and this is called as concrete method so then what is an abstract method simple you remove this body this becomes abstract but technically it is not correct so generally speaking in general a method without body is abstract and now but if you want to make it technically perfect what we have to do simply do one thing just add abstract keyword before this method then this becomes what method abstract method so what is an abstract method a method without body is known as abstract method now the question is a uh, uh, what is the necessity of abstract methods that is the question simple generally abstract methods are used as a, a specification method specification we can say they are used as method 
specification so that is uh, they are used to just provide a proper define a proper signature for a method in a project that is what use uh, abstract methods maybe we'll discuss more about it in the future sessions what is method specification how do we use that but in simple you can remember this an abstract method is a method without body and maybe if you talk about concrete method a method with body is a concrete method so i think this is clear for all of you now so next thing is a uh, uh, the syntax wise maybe this is a simple example how do you define this maybe why don't we derive a syntax from this example simple right what is that access modifier this is an optional if you don't put nothing will happen because it is treated as a default access maybe we'll talk about access modifiers in detail in, in some other session now but let us focus more on abstract methods now access modifier then what is that return type then what is that method name parenthesis semicolon this is the syntax of abstract method maybe i think we try to derive this syntax from the existing example maybe you see this uh, the keyword abstract is declared with this method of course i think we here also we have to add this abstract method because uh, without declaring abstract with the with a method we cannot technically make it uh, abstract method so if you want to make it technically abstract method definitely we should keep this uh, abstract keyword before this method okay so put this here i think you got an idea here no so that's all about this one now now i think you i got you clear analysis now what is that i think i spoke about three things here first one what is abstract keyword declared with the methods and classes second one <coughs> excuse me second one what is a abstract method then we just came to know that uh, method without body is abstract method in a simple way then how do you declare abstract method in java simple we declare abstract method in java by using keyword abstract just uh, you should put this uh, abstract keyword before the definition of a method then it becomes abstract method and then we have to put it with semicolon body is not necessary here and don't put body by any means here so that is a simple idea and if you put a method with body it is called concrete method i think this will be important observations now we are going to talk about the uh, abstract class so what is an abstract class let us talk about that uh, uh, it's simple right uh, generally i'll take a small scenario now let us take up a, a small analysis now i'll take a class a now now we know that this is a concrete class because you know but of course uh, uh, let us see what is concrete class now what i am trying to do is uh, i am trying to declare a class a and in this i am trying to put some methods here something like void m1 okay and then close this again void m2 again close this something like this so you can put any number of methods you want to into this class so we don't have any restriction on that now if you see this i had declared a class here a with a couple of methods here m1 and m2 now the question is uh, what kind of class is this means uh, it is a concrete class why this is concrete because every method in this class is an implemented method and uh, a class with all implemented methods is known as a concrete class okay this is fine suppose as we already discussed abstract method i want to put an abstract method inside this something like saying uh, abstract uh, void m3 i am trying to declare an abstract method in, in this concrete class do you think this is allowed obviously 99% or 100% this is not allowed okay so not 99% i think uh, i should say sorry for that this is 100% not allowed because a concrete class cannot have abstract method then what if i want to put abstract method that is the question it's very simple if you want to put abstract method in a class then we should declare that class also as abstract that is a simple idea so what is an abstract class a class which consists of abstract method is called abstract class or otherwise i reframe the definition like this if you want to declare abstract method in a class then you should declare that class as abstract and if you try to declare abstract method in a concrete class it leads to compilation error let me prove this point so let me show you a small example for this i am taking a simple class to demonstrate this let me take one simple class here new 
I am naming this class name as abstract demo. Now in this class, what I am going to do is I am going to take simple example class test. Okay. In this test class, what I am trying to do is I am trying to declare few methods like this void m1 system dot out dot print element. What is that? Uh, m1. Again, what is that I am trying to do? I am trying to declare few more methods here. Something like uh, m2. Okay, something like this. Maybe you put this as M2. And if, if you observe this carefully, this is concrete class. Why this is concrete? Because it's very simple. Every method in this class is implemented. No, and uh, you can see a body for each method. So this is concrete method. And uh, if a concrete class must have this kind of concrete methods only. Suppose, due to my curiosity, as we know what is abstract method, I, I want to put uh, an abstract method in this concrete class. So what I have done, I had included M3 into this test class. As soon as I had included M3, you can find a compilation error here showing that, uh, what is that? See, please uh, read this error. It is clearly showing that the type test must be an abstract class to define abstract methods. This is a proof that if at all, if you want to declare abstract method in a class, definitely that class must be declared as an abstract uh, because uh, if you don't declare a class as abstract, it becomes concrete. A concrete class cannot have abstract methods. If you want to put, declare an abstract method, definitely what we have to do, you should make that class as abstract as shown. Now, once I put this modifier before this class, immediately, what is it? This uh, error is removed here. Can you see the compilation error is automatically removed here? This itself is a clear analysis about abstract class. So now let us uh, observe all these. Uh, let us just make a note about all these observations now. So finally, what is an abstract class? Point one, if you want to talk about an abstract class, first thing, a simple analysis is a class declared uh, using keyword abstract. That's simple point. Uh, using keyword abstract uh, is known as a abstract class. Uh, so that is one thing the second one but i just told you now when should we declare a class as abstract if we want to declare an abstract method in a class an abstract method in a class then definitely such type of class must be declared as a, such type of class must be declared as what is that my dear friends sir abstract class that is one more important point second next one number three but there are few things we have to observe here number three the third point which i would like to like to explain here or discuss here is uh, suppose let us go back to our example <coughs> excuse me suppose i removed a abstract method in this class now is there any problem with this now can you see that i didn't put abstract method now was once I remove abstract method, you can see that we don't have any error here. Means what is the point I want to tell to you here is uh, it's very simple. If you want to declare abstract method in a class, you should declare it as abstract. No doubt about that. Suppose I didn't declare any abstract method. Still, you don't have any problem. Can you see? Means what is the point? Uh, it is not mandatory to declare abstract methods in abstract class. That is what you should understand. So another important point, what is that? It is not mandatory. What is that? It is not necessary or mandatory. It is not mandatory to declare abstract methods in a, to declare abstract methods where generally we put abstract methods in abstract class. And now what I'm telling, what I'm just discussing here, it is not mandatory to declare abstract methods in a abstract class that itself is very clear for us so that is another important point then immediately there is a question from our side without declaring any abstract methods why should we declare a class as abstract that is the question then for that uh, the question is where ans the answer is you know the important point which i would like to tell to you is uh, if you don't declare a method as abstract i mean a class as i mean sorry if you don't put an abstract method in a class then you know one more important thing is uh, you are, you cannot uh, create object for abstract classes so sometimes you know if you don't want to allow people to create objects then in such situation also 
we declare a class as abstract this is another important point so generally there is a question coming from the from your side what is that i told that it is not mandatory to declare an abstract method in a class and i had proven it practically here what is that you can see this is an abstract class but in this class there is no abstract method at all but still i don't have any error do you observe that then the point is uh, what is the point uh, maybe there is a question from your side what is that if you don't put abstract methods then why are you declaring this class as abstract isn't it or not you have a question from your side yes why not so then what is the answer for that very simple see you know when you declare a class as abstract we cannot instantiate abstract classes do you know that this is a beautiful point what is that we cannot instantiate what classes abstract classes can you see the beautiness here then we can avoid classes from instantiation by declaring it as abstract so if you don't declare methods as abstract then when should we go for declaring classes abstract i mean i mean sorry if you don't declare abstract methods in a class then why should we declare a class as abstract simple if you declare a class as abstract the point is we don't need to, we cannot instantiate that abstract class so if you want to avoid instantiation of a class that is creating an object for a class then maybe what you can do you can declare that class as abstract and uh, depends on the situation and requirements we you may put abstract method or not it is a secondary case but when we another important point here we have to consider is uh, if, if you declare a class as abstract it is not possible to instantiate that class i think this is clear for all of you know so that is the basic idea next one after this uh, this is one more important point so i think you got an idea about abstract class now let me summarize what we have discussed quickly a class declared using keyword abstract is abstract class generally if at all if you want to declare an abstract method in a class then that class must be declared as abstract then next you know the important uh, point is uh, it is not mandatory to declare abstract method in a class then why should we declare class as abstract simple we, we cannot instantiate abst abstract class so if you want to restrict instantiation if you don't want to uh, allow people to instantiate uh, a class uh, then in such situation also uh, it is recommended to declare that class as uh, abstract i think this is clear fine now there are couple of other uh, programmatic uh, analysis here suppose we have abstract methods in abstract class next another important point uh, suppose i am declaring an abstract method abstract uh, void m3 and then what is that uh, abstract void m4 i am declaring you know uh, two more methods these are abstract methods now you know these are a uh, simple uh, method signatures that's all method definitions there is no body for this then what do you do with methods without any body do you think they are useful for us no definitely they are not useful for us then what do you have to do then what do you do with this that just after all method signatures that's all what do you want to do with them right now do one thing what you have to do is if you declare abstract methods in a class then you have to override this methods in a subclass means what is that the beautiful point here is you should extend abstract classes and then implement or override these abstract methods in a subclass see the beautiness so what you have to do where do you implement this abstract methods we implement this abstract methods in a subclass my dear students okay so what you have to do here the here class what is that some i am just taking test to extends test then inside this subclass we should override this abstract methods so if you see there it is showing error why because if a class extends abstract class and if at all if any abstract methods are there in this abstract class we should override these abstract methods in a subclass my dear students is this clear or not so you just put your cursor here it shows add unimplemented methods as soon as i had overridden these methods you can see the error is happily removed what is the point here now so point is very simple in an abstract class if you have abstract methods we should override this abstract methods in a subclass that's all so means what is that how do you declare subclass we know we use extends keyword and then we can extend a subclass so here i am just writing something system dot out dot what is that print helen of what is that just write something here something like m3 similarly you write some one more print statement here to just test this application put m4 here and then fine that's fine 
this is simple analysis about what is that uh, abstract class and abstract uh, method now now what do you do go to your test class put main method inside this uh, create object for this abstract i mean this subclass because you know this is very clear from the fourth point we cannot create objects for abstract class but we can access the properties of its super class uh, abstract super class through the subclasses here this test true because you know as per inheritance properties of super class can be inherited to subclass so the advantage of this approach is here we can invoke the properties of its super class through the subclass object that is also possible now and you can see now create object for test class i mean subclass here test2 space t test2 equal to new test2 now you can call all the members of its super class and subclass from beginning to from m1 to m4 so this is simple idea about uh, test two dot uh, m two again. What is that uh, test two dot uh, m three? Again, what you have to do? Test three, test two dot uh, m four. I think this is clear now. So in this way, what we can do here? We can extend an abstract class to a subclass, and through the subclass object, we can invoke uh, members of its abstract superclass, also members of itself. So in this way, we can. Uh, work with the abstract classes here i think this is a clear proof programmatically we are verifying everything can you see this now we have all the outputs from all the methods of abstract classes i think this is clear dudes yes this is simple idea about the abstract class now now another last point i would like to again uh, revise here is summary summarize here is uh, you know if we declare abstract methods in a class then we should overwrite this abstract methods in a subclass that is the rule we have to follow if you don't override abstract methods in a subclass then it leads to compilation error that is one solution that is one thing otherwise if you are not if you don't want to override all these abstract methods of a superclass in a subclass there is a solution for that either point is if we have abstract methods in a subclass either we should override all the methods in a subclass that is one point otherwise the subclass also must be declared as abstract can you see the beautiness here no so what is that what do we have to do we should declare uh, the subclass also as an abstract class why because if you don't override these abstract methods in the subclass these are inherited as abstract methods to the subclass <coughs> and from the discussion in the beginning if at all if a class has abstract method we came to know what is that we must declare that class as abstract so directly or indirectly <coughs> excuse me test 2 has abstract method so indirectly if you don't implement uh, i mean uh, if you don't implement method of superclass and subclass these are inherited as abstract methods and obviously there is a presence of abstract method in a subclass then obviously how to make your class as abstract that is a simple point here so this is basic idea about what is that uh, what is abstract method and what is an abstract class i think this is clear for all of you know my dear friends so that's all about this and you know how do we access properties of abstract class in a abstract class here very simple we can act, inherit the uh, invoke the properties of abstract class through the subclass object so by extending a subclass it is possible to inherit or access the properties of abstract class to a subclass so that's it i think this is clear now so finally we should create object for subclass then we should invoke the methods of superclass and subclass through the subclass object itself because we know it's not possible to create object for a abstract class i think this is clear for all of you anyhow i'm just trying to revert my changes here so i had reverted changes here you can see now so i am just showing you the simple analysis now this is simple idea about what is that term? abstract class and abstract method hope this is clear for all of you now right so let us summarize quickly about uh, now what is abstract keyword now point 1 first one what is an abstract keyword it is declared with the methods and the classes that is the first thing what we have discussed then the next thing is what is abstract method so when you talk about that we came to know that uh, simply speaking method without uh, body that is what we just understood and then next one what is concrete method the question answer for this is uh, what is a concrete method simple a, a method with body is known as a concrete method then what is a concrete class 
we have discussed all these things sir next question is what is a concrete class so how do you define a concrete class a class with the all implemented methods is concrete class what is an abstract class so simple we can answer this very easily obvious abstract class if what if we want to declare an abstract method in a class then such classes must be declared as abstract and generally we declare abstract classes using keyword abstract that is the first point we had discussed second one i think uh, these are the second one point 2 is we just came to know that uh, it is not mandatory to declare abstract methods in abstract class that is point 2 so next question is is it mandatory to declare abstract methods in a abstract class sir so for this what is your answer my dear friend sir is it mandatory to declare abstract methods in an abstract class sir so obviously the, the answer for this question is uh, abstract methods in an abstract class what is your answer for this sir answer for this is uh, yes is it mandatory means yes and no that's it it's a, is it mandatory means we can say no here because it's not mandatory to declare abstract method in abstract class then what is a, why should we declare abstract a class as abstract then obviously why should next question is uh, why should we declare a class as abstract that is next question simple for that uh, the answer is very simple you know if you declare a class as abstract uh, without having any abstract methods we cannot instantiate that that is one reason probably we declare a class as abstract so so what is that uh, we can't instantiate which classes are uh, abstract classes sir. so we can't uh, instantiate uh, abstract classes sir. so sometimes to avoid instantiation also we declare a class as abstract even though we don't have any abstract methods inside that uh, abstract class i think this is clear now i think uh, next one another question is uh, where do we override abstract methods where do we override the abstract methods of a abstract class that is the next question methods of a abstract class for this i think uh, we had a discussion so what is that discussion we override abstract methods of abstract class in a sub class that is the very important point you have to keep in mind but you know if a class extends extends abstract class we should override all the abstract methods of abstract class in a sub class otherwise the sub class also must be declared as abstract keep in mind about this this is a very important essential point here so these are all the important uh, pros and cons about abstract class my dear friends i think you had a good time with this abstract methods and classes sir. we'll meet again for one more time with one more new concept thank you very much sir. thanks for listening to the session we'll come